Here it is again. Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and today I'm going to share my thoughts on a new topic or new technology which Apple released, uh, unveiled the other day. And uh, it was first brought to our attention at the Worldwide Developers Conference, where Apple, uh, they basically had a little bit, a little sign, they had a big sign with a bunch of new stuff that's going to be in iPhone OS 3.0, and at the bottom it had live streaming, and everybody didn't know what they were talking about. So today that's what I'm going to talk about in regards to iPhone 3GS, is the live streaming part. So. Live streaming. When I first saw the live streaming thing, I was like, what? Apple is doing streaming? What's going on? So they kind of came out with this huge press release, and I'm going to share with you some of the highlights, mainly the things that I think make sense for us as consumers. It's called HTTP Live Streaming, and it's a solution for streaming video over the web, but it makes use of Apple's QuickTime streaming server. You may have heard of this. This is an existing product. This is a, this is a revision of that and it offers improvements to help in the mobile world and I'm going to kind of keep this video tied to um, iPhone OS 3.0 because a lot of people were wondering well can I stream video from my iPhone like I can with Quick uh, on a jailbroken iPhone or can I do it with Ustream.tv like I can on a jailbroken iPhone and the answer the short answer is no that's not what this technology is mainly about it's a server component which allows you to view streaming video on your iPhone currently. That's where it's currently at. I'm not saying it's impossible to stream from the iPhone. I'm just saying that right now the way Apple is positioning it is that the mobile platform is a client to this world. So if you go to Akamai, um, there's a website dedicated to this. You can browse on your iPhone right now. Go to iPhone.akamai.com. That's A-K-A-M-I-A.com. And there's, a, there's an enhanced site which gives you examples so if you want to view right away you don't want to listen to me you just go there right now view the examples they have live streams there and they have recorded pre-recorded streams so you get the best of both worlds best of both both worlds now the, the main advantage in my opinion of this new stuff is that Apple is allowing servers people who are serving content to stream multiple formats okay what does that mean that means that when I'm in a Wi-Fi area and I want to watch a video, okay? The video is gonna look good, right? Because I'm on a fast connection. But what if I leave that Wi-Fi and I want to continue watching the video? What will happen is, is that with this new technology, it will automatically flip to the lower quality version without interrupting the stream. Okay, so what will happen is you'll go from a high quality to like a medium or low quality, depending on whether you're on edge or whether you're on 3G. So it gives us, from a client perspective, a seamless experience no matter where we are all right so if we're watching live video like they have examples for nasa tv and i think fox business news are the two main examples on akamai this is very very cool so my mind immediately went to who else is going to offer this technology it's not just going to be akamai who else is going to do this because all it requires is quicktime streaming server the newest version of that so if, if someone at ustream or justin.tv you know buy a couple of xserves to serve up this content, we may be able to stream to iPhones from those sites. That's where I think we're going. Now, that doesn't, um, uh, I mean, perhaps they can put a server component on the iPhone as well, and that would allow us to stream from the iPhone. But like I said, I didn't see anything on the site regarding that. So these are my thoughts on HTTP live streaming. If you hear about it and you want to know what's going on, just know that it's mainly a server component right now, streaming to an iPhone, multiple versions. So if you go from Wi Fi to 3G to, to Edge, It'll be a seamless experience. From a consumer perspective, those are the main advantages. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv. This is my rant, my thoughts on HTTP live streaming with iPhone OS 3.0 and QuickTime Streaming Server.